Hello, here's a lesson on arc length. So suppose you have some, some curve in three space, and uh, we start at A, we end at B, and we want to know how long is that curve. That's known as arc length. Um, and so the idea is you pick uh, two, let, let's just pick two points that are really close together, and we want to know the length of just that line. And, and as the points get closer and closer together, you can uh, imagine that to be um, pr pr pretty close to straight. And then by Pythagorean theorem, uh, in two dimensions, use Pythagorean theorem. In three dimensions, you have the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem. Um, and so the length of this little triangle is dx. The length or the height of that little triangle is dy. And then in three dimensions, you have that uh, uh, dz as well. Um, uh, which I'm, I can't really draw right here, so I'll just just put it in there. Um, and so then using the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem, we know that the length of that little tiny hypotenuse uh, of that little um, three-dimensional triangular thing um, would be uh, dx dt squared plus dy dt squared plus dz dt squared and then the square root of all that right there and so that gives you the length of a tiny little segment along that curve and then you take the integral from a to b and you see you're, you're adding up all those little tiny segments together and and then that's in the integral and then you're taking limit as those little tri triangular segments uh, go go to zero as as well um, now, uh, you probably have done this in calculus too, in two dimensions, um, with just dx dt and dy dt, and you probably remember that most of those integrals are, are rather, uh, uh, hor horrendously difficult to do, um, unless you have like a sine squared plus cosine squared that cancels that nicely or something. Oop, forgot my dt. Okay, so, uh, we will be using, uh, Mathematica to do our... To do our calculations for us. So, um, for example, um, and also I'll show you how you can define uh, vector functions in Mathematica in this video as well. So let's say you have, for example, um, the vector function r of t equals something like. Um, uh, let, let me pick an example from the from the textbook. This is section ten three, um, in the book, question number six. Okay, so the vector function is 12t, uh, 8t, t to the 3 halves power, uh, and then 3t squared. Now, like most textbooks, oh, and then we want to know um, the distance from 0 to 1. Um, now, this particular function has been cherry-picked so that if you plug it in and do it all by hand, it turns out to work out really nicely and things cancel and you end up with a nice uh, a, a nice number but if you just randomly pick some function it's not going to work out very nicely um okay so uh the, the first thing is back to our formula so this formula is a perfectly good formula you can see dx dt would just be the derivative of 12t which would be 12 and so on and so forth but if you notice this formula if, if you look at just the um, the square root part, that right there is the magnitude of the vector. And so we can um, take this formula and convert it to just the integral from A to B of the magnitude of the derivative of the vector function. All right, uh, because it's... It's not just x squared, y squared, it's dx dt, dy dt. So it's just, the this is the same as the magnitude of the derivative. So let's take the derivative of our, of, of our vector function, rt. We get 12, uh, just power rule here. So 3 halves times 8 would be, um, well, let's see, 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 t to the one half power, reduce the power by one, and then six t. Okay, now um, 
uh, so so now from this point, um, you you can then take the magnitude. So if if you were to do this by hand, the next step would be uh, the magnitude of that derivative, which would be square root uh, twelve squared is one forty four. Um, twelve t squared would be one hundred and forty four t. And then 6t squared would be 36t squared. Um, and then you integrate that from 0 to 1, and you've got your answer. Okay, uh, you can see this. You, you can see how nicely the authors uh, are working this out for you. You can see this would become a perfect square. Um, you can factor out uh, and, and so on and so forth, and, and things work out nicely. But like I said, most of the time, it doesn't work out nicely. So let's go to Mathematica and, and do this. Okay, so uh, first thing you want to do is define your function. All right, so here, here's how you define functions in Mathematica. Let's call this R. Um, T is this exactly the same way you would define uh, one, uh, functions of one variable. So, so open square bracket T and then underscore to tell Mathematica that you, that, um, oops, that is the, uh, the variable in your function and then close square bracket, and then colon equal, always colon equal to define functions. And then your function, use open curly brackets just like with all vectors, and then you just type it in. So 12t 12, 12 t, uh, comma, and then the, the y coordinate was um, 8t to the 3 halves power, and then the z coordinate was a uh, 3t squared okay so there's the there it is i i defined my function so now if, if you want to plot the function you can do like a parametric plot uh oops forgot my 3d now you don't have to plot the function to see how to see what the length is but um so since, since i just defined it it's pretty easy to do so you don't have to retype the function, just type RT because RT is now defined as the vector function 12T, 8T to the 3 halves power, 3T squared. Um, and let's graph this from 0 to 1 because in the original problem, they want us to take the integral from 0 to 1 for this. Okay, so here it is. Um, and from the plot, you can get a rough sense of how long that curve is. Um, Along uh, the horizontal axis here, uh, it looks like it's going roughly from 0 to 10 as t goes from 0 to 1. Um, along the other horizontal axis, um, 0 to 8. And then along the z-axis, this is going up 0 to 3. So I, I would take a guess maybe the length of that curve is maybe oh, 13 or 14 or something like that. It's just sort of a, 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 a guess just by looking at the curve. But we'll get the exact answer here in a moment. Okay, so so now um, step one is get your derivative. All right, so uh, to do derivatives, you just do the the apostrophe. So that would be r prime and then t, and there it is, um, twelve times twelve to the one half power in six t. If you remember, that was the same that we did by hand: twelve, twelve times square root of t, six t. Um, and then the next step was to get the um, the uh, the magnitude of that vector in terms of t. So in Mathematica, that's the norm uh, command. So if you'd like, you can just copy and paste the old your your, your derivative, whatever it turned out to be there. Um, control C, Control V. So. That works, and it, it gives you the same 144 plus 144t plus 32, 36t squared. Um, or you can do norm, and then you could put put this all together. So norm of r prime of t, same answer. Now in Mathematica, just to avoid potential pro uh, problems, they do absolute value of t, but in our case, t is just ranging from 0 to 1. So t is always positive or 0. So you can delete those absolute values. Um, let's go ahead and just copy and paste this again. Control-C. Um, now let's do the integral. 
And integration in Mathematica is just the integrate command. Um, and uh, let, let's go back to our formula here. So the formula is um, either the integral from A to B of the Pythagorean theorem uh, of, uh, of the derivatives or the magnitude of the derivative. Oh, I forgot my DT again. Goodness. Um, and so let's just, we, we have that formula for our prime of T magnitude already. So let's just plug it in. And then we're going from zero to T. So um, integrate, and then I'm just going to copy and paste here. And, and let's remove those absolute values. Um, it may not matter, but sometimes it gets in the way when you're trying to, to do integration. Okay, so it's just the, the integral. I'm doing the exact same integral that I, I would have done by hand uh, to the square root function right there. Okay, so um, integrates that function and then um, t from zero to one and then closing square bracket and integrate and whatever the answer is, is the length. Okay, 15. So like I said, this one worked out really nicely, but if you had just some in, any old random uh, vector function, it would not work out so nicely. But uh, that makes sense. Back to our graph, you can see that um, uh, the curve is about, yeah, 15 seems, seems like reasonable because it's going from 0 to 10 along one axis, 0 to 8 on another axis, and then 0 to 3 on the vertical axis right there. Okay, um, so that, that's, that's how you can do arc length in Mathematica using the derivatives and using the definition of arc length. Um, however, if you want to be really efficient, there actually is a command called arc length in Mathematica. Now, I, I do want you in your assignments, I want you to show the derivatives to show you understand how the integration is working and, and, and so on and so forth. And also, also to practice defining parametric uh, functions and or, or uh, vector functions and, and so on. But you can also do this, arc length r of t, where t goes from zero to one. And then closing square, uh, square bracket and press shift enter and same answer, 15 right there. So that, that's how you can do arc length in Mathematica.